in this lesson we are going to deal with the two types of depreciation methods the cost method and the diminishing balance method and we are also going to look at the formula of both methods and we are also going to do calculations for both methods there are two types of depreciation methods that we deal with at metric level and that is the cost method which is also known as the straight line method and the second method is the diminishing balance method which is also known as the carrying value method. So let's go ahead and get started with the first method which is the cost method also known as the straight line method. So this method is where you calculate depreciation on cost. So the formula will look as follows depreciation is equals to original cost multiply by rate multiply by m now when we're talking about original cost we are talking about the purchase price at which you purchase the asset whenever you purchased it it could have been this year it could have been last year it could have been in 1995 whatever the purchase price was when you purchased it that is the original cost and when we are talking about the rate we're talking about the percentage rate which you usually get in your adjustment where they give you information on how the company depreciates their asset this is the percentage and then m m we are talking about the number of months in which we had the asset in our possession so in a case of we purchasing the asset during the year or selling an asset during the year we are saying in the 12 months of our financial period which are the months in which we had this asset in our possession so now that you have your formula let's go ahead and do a question as your example one your question reads a company had one delivery truck at the beginning of the financial year the delivery truck was purchased in 2020 for 100,000 rands and it has an accumulated depreciation of 30,000 rands depreciation on vehicles is calculated at 10 percent per annum so let's go ahead and label what we have we have 100,000 rands which is our original cost so for next to original cost you're going to write 100,000 rands and then our rate is 10% they told us they calculate depreciation at 10% per annum so you can write that as 10 over 100 and our M is 12 why because they told us at the beginning of the year it means we had this delivery truck from the beginning of the year to the end of the year which was 1 March 2023 to 28 february 2024 now you will see they have also thrown in the a 30,000 rands accumulated depreciation when you are using the cost method there is nowhere where you have to put in accumulated depreciation so that accumulated depreciation that you see there is just there to trick you the cost method does not require you to do anything with accumulated depreciation all you need are these three things that you have right in front of you the original cost rate and the months in which you had your asset in your possession the asset being the delivery truck in this case so now that we have all our parameters let's go and plug everything into our formula so depreciation is equals to 100,000 rands that is our original cost multiply by 10 over 100 which is our rate multiplied by 12 over 12 because we had our asset for a full 12 months so the depreciation for this asset is 10,000 rents now on to the second method which is the diminishing balance method or the carrying value method now this method is where we use carrying value to calculate depreciation so the formula is as follows depreciation is equals to carrying value multiplied by rate multiplied by m over 12. the difference here you will see in this formula is that instead of original cost we are using carrying value in the place where we had original cost in the cost method now what is carrying value carrying value is the market price of an asset or the market value 
of the asset it has a formula on how to calculate it the formula is the same always carrying value is equals to original cost minus accumulated depreciation the original cost here is the same as when we were doing in the cost method it just means the purchase price when that, whatever the purchase price was whenever you purchased this asset and the accumulated depreciation will always be given to you most commonly in the trial balance the pre-adjusted trial balance or the post adjustment trial balance somewhere in there you will find the accumulated depreciation the rate is still the same it means the percentage in which will be given to you in your adjustment information and the m means the number of months that we had the asset in our possession similar to the straight line method so now that you have your two formulas let's go ahead and do an example two your information reads Company A's pre-adjustment trial balance shows equipment with a cost of 80,000 rands and it has an accumulated depreciation of 20,000 rands. Depreciation on all equipment is calculated at 20% per annum on carrying value. Now this on carrying value, this is how you will know that you need to use which method are you using. If they are saying on carrying value, you are using the carrying value method. If you noticed in the cost method the example said 10 percent on cost that on cost so you are looking for this on to give you a clue as to which method you are using so because we are using the carrying value method right now the first thing that you need to calculate before you get into the formula is your carrying value the carrying value formula we already have it original cost minus accumulated depreciation so you go to your information and you look for your original cost it is 80,000 rands our accumulated depreciation is 20,000 rands and that gives us 60,000 rands as our carrying value the rate is been given to us at 20 percent so you have 20 over 100 and at the number of months that we have it is 12 months they didn't say it was purchased during this year or if it was sold during this year so we can safely assume that we had this asset for a full 12 months so now that you have all that you need you can now Go ahead and plug into your formula for depreciation so depreciation is equals to 60,000 which is our carrying value multiply by 20 over 100 that is our rate multiply by 12 over 12 which is our M over 12 and our depreciation is 12,000 rents so you will notice that in this lesson we did not deal with anything that was purchased during the year or anything that was sold during the year. So in the next two parts which you should look out for, we are going to deal with assets that are purchased during the year and assets that are sold during the year for both cost method and the carrying value method. And in part four we are going to deal with questions from your exam papers so when you are done with this lesson you can go look for part two part three and part four which are dealing with those three aspects